Hello and good morning. Welcome to New Forest Malls. Uh, Jared's not very well this morning, so Mandy's very kindly offered to come in and this morning to find another clutch, clutch 16. So uh, this one is Lala, a four-year-old girl that I've raised for four years. She's given us a lovely clutch. She's sitting on eggs and she is a pastel, or was sold as a super pastel, but I think she's a pastel. 100% um, het for pie girl, really big girl, so I'm hoping there's a good clutch there. And this is our first time boy, Thor, who is an exantic pied boy. He's in deep shed at the moment, but I can show you him. If you want to come and have a look, Mandy, then we'll show you what the father looks like. I so say he's in deep shed, but uh, you'll see how dark he is at the moment. But he's virtually a low white exantic pied boy. And he's given her three locks. The last lock was in January and they haven't locked since then so I'm hoping that the sperm is all strong and that the veins are strong. I'll show you his wife who is taking forever to get to size. She's actually behind you Mandy. So if we come over to Sif, this one's not in shed so you'll get an idea of what we're trying to produce. This is an exantic pied and we bought this from Europe. They were fed like mice in Europe but they didn't take to frozen thawed very easily but that's what you've got. Beautiful animal. So you can see the VPI Exantic and Pied go beautifully together. Would you agree, Matt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's about a thousand grams. We're hoping to get her up to size for the next breeding season, and then we can produce some visual Exantic Pieds by putting Thor to her. That was the original plan. But uh, sometimes your best planned projects don't always go to plan. <laughs> and uh, this is four years since we've had these, and you can see that she's still not big enough. But she is taking uh, large multis, so hopefully we'll keep uh, feeding her every two weeks and hopefully she'll put on some size. Lala was a very picky eater and it's taken her a while to get going, but you'll see how big she is now. And uh, let's go and have a look at the, the, the mother and see how she's looking. So this is Lala. She's sat on a beautiful clutch and they look like they're beautiful white pearly whites and I think she is a pastel 100% head pied so Lala first time mother and let's see what she's given us it's taken us four years to get her to this stage so let's see whether we can put her in a bath I'm just going to get some tissue just to be on the safe side I don't think she's too happy with me removing her from her eggs, but she looks like she's given us a lovely clutch. And we've got some eggs there, and there's one slug, which isn't too bad. And you can see that she's pretty hollow if you look at her body at the back. So I think she's given us everything. There's no retained eggs in there. So we'll give her a nice bath. Well done, Lala. That was a painless exercise. So let's see if she enjoys her bath. There you go, girl. And we'll just leave her in there while we set up the eggs. And let's see how many eggs we've got. And what we'll do is we will handle them as well. So I'll just switch the lights off. Right, let's have a little look and see what we've got. So there's seven eggs and one slug. And let's see if they've got veins. I'm hoping they've got veins. Let's see, Thor gave her three locks. And let's just see what we've got there. Can you see any veins, Mandy? Yeah, there's veins in that one. There's veins in that one. Veins in that one. Can you see any veins in that one? Uh, yes. Yeah. Any veins in that one? Yep. Veins in that one. Yep. That's the slug. 
veins in that one and I can see some veins but they're on the other side so I think what we'll do is uh, we'll get the lights back on and then we'll set them up we can expect here is a visual pie that will be 100% het for VPI Xantic and hopefully there'll be pastel if we can get pastel into that that would be really lovely so yeah they look uh, pretty good so let's get the clutch 16 out from the box here she is table a bit closer and let's just see how the hopefully the heat is uh, about right we'll just check the temps make sure they're all good this is from the new incubator so we're just having a few teething issues so we've got 88 on there which is what I want and I think we'll put them in as they lay so we'll just remove the slug from the back okay we'll put that in there and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs. Now I changed the paper yesterday. Uh, if I bring that over here, you can get in a bit closer. Um, now what I'm gonna do is see whether I can lift these and keep them as they are together. So we just have to gently ease them up. So I think some of them are loose. So that one's already loose. So I'll put that there for now. Let's see if I can take them as a clump. So they are stuck to the paper a little bit, but we can gently lift those and hopefully not take too much paper with us. So up they come. All right, I don't know if you can pull that paper off for me, Mandy, underneath. Can you just pull that? Is that all the paper off? That's lovely. And then we'll just put those on there. And I think that they should be fine because uh, even though there's one on the top, I think the lid will close. And then what we'll do is we'll slip the final egg. If I just turn them around a little bit to there, and I put the other egg in there. And then what I'll do is I've got some straws just to give it a little bit of support. Give that some support. I mean, the rest of the eggs should support each other, but just in case. We'll give them a little bit of extra support because they've only just been laid. I'm hoping that um, the lid will shut nicely and then we've got ourselves another seven eggs. That takes us to 108, which is lovely. All right, let's just see if we can get that to close. Now, what I'm gonna do is just wipe the lid with condensation. I don't want to get any water on the eggs, so the idea here is to just wipe that clean. And then hopefully we can close these without there being any condensation on the egg. And I think we've just about got away with that. So let's have a little look at the clearance mode. If you get down to the level of the lid, it's close, but I think we've got about a centimetre distance on that. So. Yep, I think we're okay. Right, so let's just add the number of good eggs. Seven good eggs and one slug, eight in total. So we say eight eggs, seven good, one slug. Which I think I'll accept that for a first time, Mum. I think that's very good. So they're due on the 14th of June. And I say the best we can hope for is pastel pieds that are 100% het for Exantic VPI and that's what we've got. Let's put them in the incubator and I think the job's a good one and then I'll show you some other females that are going to be giving us clutches shortly. Let's put those in there. There we go, we'll keep an eye on those. Okay, so we'll give that a good clean out. That's her hide. We'll do that off camera. But the big hides are wonderful because she can build her tower and there hasn't been any issue with that. 
just give this a little tidy up. Clutch car to one side, and then I'll show you some other girls that are going to be going. All right, do you want to come and see Toast, Mandy? Let's have a little look and see how she's doing. So this morning, she was actually putting her tail inside her circle. So I think she's getting close to giving us a clutch. And I believe she's carrying 19 or 20 eggs. So we'll just keep that on her. And her due date is the, uh, actually looking at this, the due date is, if, if that was a uh, pre-lay shed, is the 31st of May. So she's got a way to go yet. So it looks like we're gonna have some May ones. Money Penny is, uh, due on the, let's have a little look, um, I'm not sure when she's due, I think I've got it written down somewhere, but you can see that she's building nicely. This is our Hypo Pie project. There she is, she's got solid, isn't she solid? And uh, I'm pretty certain that she's got some beautiful eggs coming our way, so she's really doing well. So this is really an exciting part of the season for me. I always look forward to this cleaning and suddenly finding some eggs. Um, and then we've got Celeste. Let's have a check on her. She's very close to giving us eggs. You can see where she is at the moment. Again, she's a big bulky girl. But she should be giving us some beautiful bells because we put the Mojave Ultra Mail to her. And we're trying to get Yellow Belly into the Ultra Mail project. That's what we're trying to do there. Right, I won't show you any more girls because we've got quite a few that are close to being ready to go. What I'm gonna do is give you a little surprise sneak peek of clutch number two that's come out of their eggs from last week. And we've got blessed with some stunning odds. We've hit, I think, six out of seven or five out of seven leopards for combinations and leopard is our favorite gene. So let's have a look, look and I'll show you them. They're still in shed, so they're not gonna be their best, but I'll just show you what we've got. I'll bring them to the table, Mandy. So, here we go. So they've all come out of their eggs beautifully. And now you can see how beautiful they are. Now we've got a super inchy possible Krypton, which is the one on the left here. You can zoom in on her. I love her patterns. She's got leopard and super inchy go absolutely beautifully together, don't they? Doesn't she look lovely? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Mandy, you said that you had a couple of favorites. Now this is the lesser, they're all double hat for DG clowns, by the way. So this one here is a really, really pretty one. I can pull this one out and show you what we've got here. See, they like to be together to create body heat. But have a look at this one here. This one is a uh, leopard, pastel leopard lesser double hat DG clown. And it's just stunning. It's got a stripe down its back absolutely beautiful and we put them in a shedding box so there's a lot of water in here I think Mandy your favorite one is the lighter colored one isn't it so this is the super inchy leopard um, DG clown double head and that's in shed so I'm looking forward to seeing that out of shed got some lovely golden tones what the inchy does is it creates golden tones it's got the thick eye bands at the back and the this could be a Krypton because we think the girl might be het for cryptic and we put a clown to her. So that produces a het cryptic and a het clown produces a Krypton and the Krypton has a diamond shaped head shape, head stamp. It also has very large, if you look at the back of the head, can you see how large the eye bands become and they join at the back. So that seems to be indicative of Kryptons and the Kryptons also give quite a funky pattern as well so they give towers and they also give a little neck stripe as well so that they're the things to watch out for when you have a Krypton or Cryptic the visual Krypton is a, identical to a visual Cryptic so that's another interesting fascination with the double recessive allelic gene they both sit on the same allele so therefore if you've got a Krypton you're guaranteed to produce a het clown and a het cryptic if you put them to a clown or a cryptic so that's that one there beautiful animal isn't it just lovely and now the next one i'm going to get out is this beautiful lesser 
I think it's a pastel lesser inchy double het DG clown and look how bright that is the lesser and the inchy work well together and look at the crazy head stamp again it's got some really big eye patterns at the back so it could also be Krypton can you see the big eye patterns and it's got the neck pattern extends down and it's got some towers on its body so you can see these towers on the banding that's indicative of Krypton so this could also be a Krypton it's quite possible but I just love the double head stamp there on the top it's almost like a conservative party logo isn't it if it was, if it was blue but it's almost like a, a Olympic torch so we might have to call this one Olympia carrying the Olympic torch <laughs> good idea <laughs> and it's having a bit of a smile but no isn't that just beautiful um, and there you go and this is in shed imagine when they come out of shed and they've had a few meals absolutely beautiful and all their tummy buttons have dropped off so they're all nice and clean this one here is another leopard I'm just going to see if I can work out they're connected together but if we can work out this I think is a Krypton as well this is an Enchi Leopard no pastel in this one but just look at that Krypton banding at the back can you can see those big headbands so again I think this could be a Krypton so I think the girl could be carrying Het for Cryptic and a stunning animal Leopard just gives you that crazy funky pattern so we're really really happy with this clutch it's a beautiful clutch and um, once they've fed and shed Jad will sex them and we'll get sexes on them but beautiful patterns and you can see the, f the flames coming up the side can you see all those flames so you've got those lovely oranges coming up as well funky pattern and lovely head stamp and that's what the um, Enchi and the um, leopard do is they create a really lovely head stamp so we'll put that one back and then we've got a couple of other leopards here so we've been very high on the leopard gene in fact we've got three more leopards to show you this one is a pastel leopard double head DG clown and you can just see how funky the pattern is on that one pastel leopard double head DG clown you can see that the head stamp is starting to whiten out so that's the pastel influence I don't think this is Krypton but still a very pretty animal we've also got a second similar looking animal I think they are almost identical although there are some differences actually looking at it it's a pastel leopard double het DG clown but with a more funky pattern and a nice little line going down the dorsal see that beautiful dorsal stripe all the way down but look at that crazy pattern and look at the alien heads on the body funky I think this is probably the most funky leopard we've produced mm. beautiful though so we'll put that one back and again there is this one which I think is possibly a Krypton because if you look at the head stamp and the size of the eye banding and this one is a leopard Enchi double head DG clown and it could be a Krypton as well and that one is an absolute stunner really beautiful so that's clutch number two heavily leopard based we're only supposed to get half of them were supposed to be leopard uh, but we've been lucky with the Enchi as well both animals were carrying Enchi, so there was always a good chance that Enchi would feature in here. And we've hit the double Enchi, which is the one that's climbing up at the moment, coming up to see us. And uh, Jared and I are super excited about this. It's a lovely clutch. And I say, as soon as we've sexed them and given them a meal and they've shed, we'll give you a proper update video. But I just thought I'd show you some bonus footage on today's clutch. I'd like to thank Mandy for being our camera lady today. Thank you all for the um, love and support that we're getting don't forget to hit the subscription button and the notification bell and we'll give you more videos coming up over the next few weeks we've got a few, few more clutches to come and uh, yeah it's really exciting so thank you very much and we shall see you again so it's bye bye for Mandy and bye bye from myself have a good week and we'll see you soon bye for now <laughs>